And nationwide, Americans are pausing to remember the nearly 3,000 lives lost in the terror attacks on September 11, 2001. Ceremonies marking the event are being held today in New York, Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon. Bradley Blackburn is in Lower Manhattan at the site of what was once the World Trade Center. Today, the nation pauses to mark 20 years since the 9-11 attacks. Memorials are taking place across the country, the largest in New York, where the Twin Towers once stood. This morning's somber event was punctuated by moments of silence. These 20 years have felt like both a long time and a short time. Friends and family members read the names of those who were killed here two decades ago. Joseph Rina Jr. President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden were among the attendees. This afternoon, the president will travel to Pennsylvania for a service at the Flight 93 Memorial near Shanksville. Mr. Biden will then head to Virginia to take part in a wreath laying ceremony at the Pentagon, where a flag was unfurled at sunrise. President Biden did not address the gathering here at what was ground zero. He stood with 9-11 family members. He's not expected to deliver any speeches at today's events. The president paid tribute to the 9-11 victims and their families in a video released by the White House yesterday. No matter how much time has passed, these commemorations bring everything painfully back, as if you just got the news a few seconds ago. Nearly 3,000 people died in the initial attacks, a death toll that's still rising as injuries and illnesses continue to claim lives. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.